to uh, mention the holidays I talk about, Scott Padgett makes you wonder if we have any kind of weather coming soon that would kind of match any of the holidays that I just mentioned that aren't so far away. And, and some of our summer holidays, possibly, but none <laughs> of the ones that you just mentioned there, Doug, because we have temperatures above average again. And our forward sky cam, I wanted to show you this time lapse because we saw these high level clouds moving through another great sunset. We had a beautiful sunrise this morning. And as you take a look, uh, by tomorrow morning, our temperatures, they're going to be the low to the mid 60s as you step on out of the door. So those nice fall mornings not here anymore. So just plan ahead and the satellite and radar combined. I want to show you there's an area of low pressure continuing to make its way through Nebraska, parts of Colorado, even to Wyoming. And with that, we are going to be seeing this trough kind of working its way on through. So that's in the upper levels. You can see that right now in Denver, it's 36. Casper, Wyoming at the freezing mark. North Platte, Nebraska, 50 degrees. Southeast of that, temperatures in the 60s to near the 70 degree mark. So we're going to be seeing our temperatures above average as we go into tomorrow. We're going to be seeing, again, temperatures starting out in the mid 60s and then warming our way up into the mid 80s for tomorrow afternoon. At the surface, your winds turn to the south to the southwest near about 10 to 15 miles per hour gusting up to near 20. So a warm and breezy day for tomorrow. But then we have this front moving its way on through. So 85 is my forecast high. We're going to be seeing the front making its way into parts of North Texas in the late morning hours, then continue to slide its way down to the southeast. Partly cloudy skies on the way, and then maybe a couple of little rain chances going into late Wednesday into Thursday morning, and then another repeat Thursday night into then Friday morning. But it's a 20% chance. So some of us not even seen any rain and the rain chances sprinkles to maybe some light rain that's around. Uh, you can see as we go into Friday again, this forecast model a bit more aggressive, but again, that chance is only around 20%. So today we are at 81 degrees. We're going to be even warmer than that. The cool air is a thing of the past, but look at how windy it's going to get as we go into Saturday morning into Sunday morning. So there's a little bit of relief as far as the pollen's concerned going into Thursday as those winds die down. But then Friday we're at 83, windy for a Saturday and Sunday with those south winds near 15 to 25. And Doug, temperatures holding in the mid 80s into next Tuesday. Look at that. Scott, thank you.